Hey guys, it's Hannah. So it may come as a surprise to a lot of people that therapy was really hard for me to get into after my diagnosis of bipolar too. If you can believe it, I just, I really struggle with, you know, laying on the couch and sharing my experiences and, and talking about my feelings because my daily life, I have to manage my emotions. I just, outside of that, I don't really want to talk about it. Finding a routine of medications that would help me after my diagnosis of bipolar 2 was priority. Then recently, I hit a slump and my medications weren't doing enough. So I realized after five years, six years uh -oh, of being out of therapy, I had to go back. I found a therapist and I said to myself, you're really going to have to work on facing those insecurities, Hannah. How do you do that? We hear about these guidelines of coping skills. Do they really work? Does taking deep breaths really solve all my problems? But I started doing these exercises and really working hard on myself and oh my gosh, I'm proven wrong all the time and it worked. A couple of things that really help me is I get up every morning and I have a routine. I take five minutes, grab a cup of coffee, sit and reflect outside, tell myself positive things, send gratitude, and it helps me build a routine and like a positive foundation for the day. Self-awareness, giving myself confidence to totally rock it the whole entire day. I would love to hear yours because it's good we share these things so everybody can get a little bit of a taste of maybe something that will work for them. So again, share your comments below and I can't wait to see you next Thursday. Bye.